Hi guys, it's Claire. Today we are reading another chapter. And I'm gonna be break the fossil record. So let's get started. We are on. Believe it or not, breaking a world record is harder than it looks. Said Emma. The next day at recess, the second graders who had gathered around the amazing book of world records. The day before, were huddled under the play structure again. Without the book, I couldn't get. Amazing book of world records. The day before, huddled under the play structure again. Without the book, I could get two spoons stuck on my cheeks. Cheeks, no problem. I don't know went on for a second. I got three. Ah, lost my place. Three, but that's all I wish I could. Said that how that kid did it. Did you try your nose? Asked Drew. Sure, I tried my nose at Emma. It's slid right off. Here's the picture. So it looks like here's all of the kids that were there. Here's Ivy, Emma, Zuzu, Air, Drew, I believe, Leo, forget her name. And here's Bean. I forget these two kids' names. But I knew the girl is pretty bossy. Maybe he had a very sticky. Maybe he had a very sticky face. Said Ivy. Maybe he put something on his face to make it stick. Maybe said Emma. I forgot. I. It didn't. I'm. Not. There was silence. Being did you want to be a braggly kid ever? That hates braggy kids. She would wait to tell the dinosaur bones until someone else told about breaking a world record. How did the car wheels go? Asked. She asked Zuzu. Super great, said Zuzu. Did you? You did it? Asked Ivy. You did a hundred and. Twelve cartwheels? Everybody looked impressed. Wow, that's great. Are you going in to be in the book? Zuzu pulled down her zipper jacket and d down and up. I didn't do a hundred and twelve. Cartwheels, I did 32. She looked at the faces watching her. That's a lot. I set a world record for Emerson School, I'm for sure. There's, there was a short silence. Everybody saw that, thought, about that, Bean didn't say, say, did you fall down or what? I crashed into the fence, said, said, said Zuzu, and I got a brush of splinters. Here's Zuzu banging into the fence. So this is her knee. Bring into the fence. That gotta hurt. She held up her knee. It looked like she had pepper under her skin. Ouch, said Ivy. She heated splinters. If my backyard was a minute long, I bet I could have done it, said Zuzu. Eric. Eric nodded. Eric's not at school today, said Vanessa. I wonder. He ate 500 M&M's. 
He did. The dudes it. He a hundred and twelve. But then he threw up. A hundred and twelve hardly is anything. He did. He didn't choose said dudes it. He just powered him in his throat. Yuck, said Emma. That's gross. His mom got really mad and said, Jews it grumpy. He, she took away the rest of his money. What about you being in the... As Vanessa, did you get a muffle? Did you get those straws in your mouth? Draw a bead. She almost forgot about us. Uh, no, but Ivy had broken another world. Ah. Oh, but Ivy and I have broke another record. How many did you get? And asked you what? Forty-four. But guys, said Bean, I broke another world record yesterday afternoon. She stopped and waited. Well, said Vanessa, what record? So here is a picture of dudes. I forget his name. I forget all their names. Well, and this is his mom, and he's. She doesn't look happy at him at all. I don't think any of your moms would be happy if you try to eat that many M and M's. We became the youngest paleontologist in the world. There was a little pause. Paleontologist asked Drew, a person who digs up dinosaur bones, said Bean. And that's what we did. We dug up 17 dinosaur bones in my backyard yesterday. And today, we are going to get more. And then, we are going to put them together to make a dinosaur so can nobody said anything. Isn't that cruel? Cool us being the was the matter with them. You did you did not seduce it. Finally, we did. Cried Bean. Seventy dinosaur bones. No way. Um, no way. Said Emma. Yes way. Said Bean. Mm -hmm. Emma and Zuzu gave each other a look. Bean didn't feel her. Bean felt her face got hot. And here is Ivy and Bean. People don't just find dinosaur bones, said Vanessa in a grown up voice. Dinosaur bones aren't just laying around, sometimes they are. Sometimes they are, said Ivy. That's how Mary Ann found them. Until yesterday, Mary Ann was the youngest paleontologist in the world, said Bean, trying. Now Ivy and me are. You just can't say you broke a world record and get in the book, said Vanessa. You have to prove it. We'll prove it. Right in your face, said Ivy, getting a little pink. We have the bones. How you? How do we know that you? No, they're not chicken bones. You stuck underground yourself," said Vanessa. Vanessa said, "They are not chicken bones. They are big. You cannot. You can come over and see if you don't." There are no chicken bones. They are big. You can come over and see them if you don't believe us, said Bean. Okay, said Vanessa, I will. In fact, you can come over, said Bean. I'll invite all of you. Done. Oh. I invented you all. Oh. I invited you all. All over for a dinosaur bone reviewing. So, so there. Fine, said Emma. You don't, you 
can come over in the afternoon, said being decided, but not too early because I've been me have telling Tyler just ah because Ivy and I have paleontologist to do. We better come and see them today, said Ivy, and then they'll be in the museum. You'll um you'll you'll yeah, you'll have to pay. Come on, said Bean and turn there's bags and there are bags on play structure and walked towards their classroom. Here's Ivy and Vanessa kind of like arguing. And that's it. The next chapter is called A Bone to Pick. Okay, guys, here's the question. Who remembers? How many bones did Ivy and Bean dig up? 17? 16 or 18 put your guess down in the comment section and i will see you all in my next video bye bye subscribers subscribe comment down below so you never miss another video